Recently, the new company White Carbon sent me one of their new white carbon fiber shafts. In this video, I compare my 12.4mm Predator Revo to the 12.25mm White Carbon. Like any carbon fiber shaft, the White Carbon has all the advantages discussed and demonstrated in my previous How to Select a Carbon Fiber Shaft video, linked in the video description. The obvious difference is the color. Most earlier carbon fiber shafts, including the Predator Revo, are black. I like the white color because it has excellent contrast with the cloth, making it very easy to see if the cue is aligned in the desired direction. I also like that the shaft cap and tip are black in contrast with the shaft and cue ball to make it easier to visualize tip placement. Here's a comparison of how the shafts look at cue ball address. But having said all this, I aim and align my Predator Revo just fine with everything being black. A nice feature of the white carbon is its universal joint adapter, allowing the shaft to be used with any cue with a quick insert change. The adapter tool allows you to easily change out joint connectors. Here, I'm using a Unilock insert so I can connect my Predator P3 butt to both shafts. Another nice feature is a hard rubber joint collar, which makes the joint connection seem more secure and less likely to vibrate loose. For more information on all white carbon features, see the company's link in the video description. To me, the most important attribute of a shaft is the amount of cue ball deflection it creates when using side spin. I personally prefer a shaft with less cue ball deflection, but if you use the system for aiming with side spin, you can aim effectively using any bridge length in any shaft. For more information, visit the Aiming with Side Spin link in the video description. To test or compare shafts, I recommend the procedure described and demonstrated in my previous How to Measure a Shaft's Cue Ball Deflection video, also linked. As described in the video, it is best to use fast speed when testing a shaft, but in this video I also use slow speed so you can see how cue ball deflection varies with speed. I use stroke length to control my shot speed. I use a quarter stroke for my slow speed, which is close to lag speed. And for fast speed, I use a three-quarter stroke, which is enough to send the cue ball off three rails. I hit five shots with each shaft at each speed, but I only show the three of each combination that had the most consistent speed and spin, as judged by cue ball motion. I will summarize the results at the end. Obviously, testing with a robot would be better, but careful human testing with enough trials can be accurate also. This table summarizes the results of the testing. The average cue ball deflection at the rail in inches is reported for each shaft and each shot speed. Obviously, if you miss your object ball target by amounts this large, you will miss most shots when using side spin. Notice that cue ball deflection is larger at faster speed, since the cue ball has less time to swerve back to cancel some of the shaft's squirt. For more information, see the linked cue ball deflection resource page. The white carbon produces more squirt than the Revo, especially with faster speed, but you still need to adjust your aim for cue ball deflection no matter what shaft you use. If you want to learn how to do this effectively for shots of all speeds and distances, check out the Aiming with Side Spin link in the video description. I hope you enjoyed my review and comparison dealing with the new white carbon shaft. Whether you go with a black or white carbon fiber shaft, you can still play your best game. It is the player, and not the cue, that really matters. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.